Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Stan's Adventure. Today we're going to do a little demonstration of downloading the app for Lance uh, as a recreational drone flyer and how it works. A little demonstration. I was quite concerned like many people I'm sure this is going to be too complicated and I just can't do it. You know being an old retired person and all that. I love saying that. Uh, and that's really not the case so we're going to do a little quick demonstration. Uh, the way I started was I went to my Google search engine, searched for Kitty Hawk Lance, K I T T Y H A W K L A A N C, and the top one that came up was Lance Kitty Hawk. So you click on that, and it goes to Kitty Hawk's Lance page, which will tell you a little bit about it. Lance is the lower altitude authorization and notification capability. It lets you fly in controlled airspace. It will give you an immediate authorization if possible or almost immediate. And that's one of the things we're going to do today is actually do an airspace authorization. So you can see how easy and how fast it really is. Uh, I can do a airspace authorization faster than I can download the app. Uh, if you want to make some changes to it, it takes a little bit longer, but they're, they're uh, web page here has lots of information. It tells you what Lance is, why do you need Lance, how does Lance benefit a drone pilot, and since now, as of I believe the 23rd, is applicable to uh, recreational flyers. It's really neat. Here's a demo. I suggest going to this website and looking at the demo. It does help, but I'm going to cover most of the things. Uh, Lance covers 300 air traffic control facilities, including the one I live in, uh, where the maps are. How far in advance can you apply? 90 days, uh, and various other things. Down at the bottom, down here, has a get it on the App Store or get it on Google Play. Uh, I use Google. It's the Kitty Hawk Enterprise Drone Flight Operations is the name of it. I actually went on my app on my phone and got it just because I think it's a little bit easier. You can see I've already got it installed. Piece of cake wasn't hard at all to do. Uh, so we're going to look at my phone and, and see if we can find this. I'm not real sure how to do two phones at once, but we'll, we're going to try. So we're going to click on the Kitty Hawk app. It pulls it up. Uh, your first time you'll have to enter some data about yourself, your name, your phone number. It uh, sends the app, sends the authorizations to you through text. It does need to access some functions on your phone. Since I don't use this phone to fly with, it's not going to connect to the app that way. But anyway, if you're at the space you want, and you can see the little grids here, that means I'm in a controlled airspace in the little blue circle there. Uh, click on maps down. Click on maps down here, and it's going to map exactly where I'm at. Okay. Uh, and the airport's three KFTW, which is Meacham Field. Slide up. We want to get an authorization. So you just click on get authorization. I'm not part 107, I'm recreational. So we're going to click on recreational. Create your flight area. Got it. Okay, it's real simple. It's going to map where we're at. I usually give myself plenty of space. You just drag the Drag the uh, corners out to where you want to fly. I go way over where I'm going to fly because I can't see this far. And then it's going to ask, how high do you want to fly? The max I can fly here for an immediate authorization is 300 feet. So I'm going to slide the slider up to 300 feet. Okay. Say next. It's originally going to give you from now to 30 minutes from now. For authorization. If you want to change that, click on now. You can change the date, change it to tomorrow, say OK. Instead of 326, let's change it to 426 p.m. to start with. And instead of 30 minutes, let's fly for an hour and 30 minutes. Hopefully, it's seeing all that. I can't really tell. Uh, and say OK. Next. Eligible for auto approval. Uh, 
one hour and 30 minutes on the 27th at 426 p.m. Central Daylight Time for that area. Hit next. And you're going to have to say, you have to agree, I agree to the terms of operation. I'm responsible. I'm responsible. I'm responsible. My altitude is correct. Doesn't constitute a waiver of any state laws. Authorization responds just to me. And I don't need to contact anybody by phone. Uh, agree and submit. And it's thinking. And it's thinking. And it's thinking. And there's my text. I now have authorization to fly. It's that fast. And it's a long story, but it says your Lance authorization has been approved by the FAA. Uh, tomorrow, 926 UTC, which is what it is, and blah, blah, blah. So it's that quick. That was the one I did yesterday, uh, just playing with it. So what, 15 seconds, you have your authorization. It's hard to beat that. So that's how easy it is. I went with Kitty Hawk. Let me get back out of this. I went with Kitty Hawk because somebody has suggested on the uh, DJI Spark forum, and it seems as if DJI also recommends Kitty Hawk, and it works. It's that simple. It's that fast. Uh, if you don't want to fly where it is on the map, you can slide the map around to wherever you want to fly uh, and change your dot. Just click on the map there and, and set up your parameters there. It's a piece of cake, guys. Try it out. You can't believe how easy it is. So if you haven't been able to fly in, in a lot of controlled airspace just because you're on the fringes, try it. It's worth trying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And have a good flying day. Bye.